Elizabeth Bender with Take Me Fishing, and we're here at the Bassmaster Classic. Joining me today is Brent Chapman. How are you doing? I'm great, Elizabeth. Thank you. So tell me, you, we were just chatting, and you said that you have kids, and you love taking the kids out. Oh, absolutely. I've got a seven-year-old and a nine-year-old, and I mean, that, that's what, what my parents did with me. They grew up, you know, I, I grew up around fishing, and, and uh, you know, we're going to pass it on to our kids. Our kids love to go fishing, and there's nothing I enjoy more than taking my kids out and watching them catch a fish. Now, what kind of tips do you give them when you're first taking them out, when they're just trying to grab, pick up that rod and just getting started? Oh, absolutely. The, the, the biggest thing for kids to remember is kids just want to catch something. They don't care if it's this big or this big. So, I mean, you know, the, the best thing is, is start small mm -hmm. uh, for kids. You just let them catch anything, little green sunfish or little bluegill. And the thing I always tell everybody, the kids and the parents, is you can catch really big fish on a little hook but you can't catch little fish on a big hook. So you're always better off if you're unsure. The smaller the hook you put on, the better, because the more fish you're apt to catch. That's really good advice, especially for first time parents when they're headed out. Um, any advice on, on locations that it's good to take little kids? A absolutely, you know, you, you wanna try to do, do your homework beforehand. Uh, you know, a lot of the cities anymore and communities have little little ponds and, area and things like that. Going to a big reservoir is sometimes more of a challenge, but you go somewhere small where the fish only have so many places to, hi to hide. So I recommend a small city lake, maybe a, a, a farm pond that's in the family or even a little creek or something like that is, is definitely the best option. That's great. Now, who taught you to fish? Uh, definitely my parents. My dad, uh, he, was, he, he taught me to love to fish and uh, that's what I'm doing now today with my son. That's great. Uh, is your son here at the competition? Does he like to come cheer on dad? Oh, absolutely. He loves to go to the outdoor expo and see all the, the new lures and stuff and see what kind of new products he can get uh, so he can try to beat dad with later down the road. Now, has he ever beat you, caught anything bigger? Oh, absolutely. He's, he's beat me a few times, and, and as a dad, you know, from a dad standpoint, I I'm, you know, couldn't be prouder and uh, love to see him beat me more. <laughs> That's great. Now, you were mentioning that several of the other anglers have, have kids as well. Have you guys ever had a chance to take them out as a big group activity? Oh, a absolutely. There's, there's a lot of us on the road that uh, camp, so we'll be at different campgrounds and all of our kids hang out together and, and fish and catch creatures and, and, and all that. So. Uh, you know, our, our kids on the road, they, they're, they're kind of spoiled when it comes to fishing. That's great, though. It seems like you guys have a, a really good community sense going here with the Bass Nation and a lot of the folks involved with it. Uh, I know that the Bassmaster Classic specifically is more of a solo competition, mm -hmm. but if you could have a partner in a competition like this, who would you want to fish with? Oh, definitely my son. You know, I, I mean, I wish it could be three. I wish it could be my dad and my son, but, uh, you know, it, it's hard to, beat when, hard to beat it when you can take your kids fishing for sure. And you said your daughter also fishes. Oh, absolutely. She she fishes as she's not as into it as my son. If I can take her out and let her do some catching, you know, she's probably not as patient as he is. But uh, you know, my, my daughter loves it as well for sure. Any different tips you would give someone who was trying to teach a little girl to fish versus a little boy? Uh, you know, the biggest thing is is patience. You know, kids aren't very patient. And you know, something else that I tell people is, fishing isn't only about catching fish on on a rod and reel. Something that, that we love to do with our kids is get, we call them creature nets, is getting them like a little little, little shad net or some kind of real fine mesh net. And if, if they're not catching fish on a rod and reel, you just take the, the net and you go along the shoreline and scoop stuff up. And, oh, yeah. and they love it because they catch minnows, crawfish, frogs, turtles. And that's what kids like. They want to be entertained. They want to get to hold all the creatures, get a little muddy. And uh, you know, my, my daughter probably likes that more than she does actually <laughs> catching fish. Indeed, I, I think I do too. I, I love those little cast nets. I'm a big fan. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely, for sure. They're, they're a lot of fun. Now, for y'all as a family, is there any place special that you guys like to go on vacation to go fishing? I mean, versus this kind of middle area of the country? You know, we're, we're kind of spoiled. I mean, you know, we, we get to travel the country. We've had some great fishing outings, uh, you know, all over the country. Florida's a lot of fun because, you know, we'll, we usually get to go down there during the winter. And, uh, you know, it's exciting for, for, for my son especially because we'll do some saltwater fishing and stuff. And that's yeah. something different and something that, that we really haven't done before. But, I mean, we honestly have. We've had experiences all around the country uh, from catching trout in Arkansas to, you know, catching smallmouth to, in New York and, and going saltwater fishing in Florida. They've got to do a little bit of everything. But, you know, the biggest thing is, is just, you know, no matter what, no matter where you live, there's always a place to go catch a fish, whether it's a creek, a pond, or even the ocean. You know, the main thing is just get out there and take them. That's great. Now tell me a little bit about tomorrow. How, how is everything looking? 
Uh, it's going to be a little chilly, of course, but uh, you know that it, it's the Bassmasters Classic. I mean, we're supposed to be tested and pushed, to, you know, pushed to the limit, and uh, th this will definitely challenge us. But uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it and excited for it. How, when the weather's kind of kind of down and out like it is today and probably tomorrow, what kind of things do you do to extra prepare for the weather? Dress even warmer. That, that's going to be the biggest challenge here is being dressed warm for it. And uh, you know, I, I've got a lot of experience with with dressing properly and and knowing how to stay warm. But as long as I'm warm, then I'm not distracted and I can stay focused on fishing and uh, hopefully uh, catch the winning stringer. Great. Well, good luck tomorrow. We hope thank, you do well. Thank you very much. For more information on the Bassmaster Classic, visit us at takemefishing.org.